Hi everyone, welcome back to 2024. I'm very happy to start the year with very good guests from New Brunswick, Shona Cole. Hi Shona, how are you doing? Hi, I'm doing well, how are you? I'm good, I'm doing great. Thank you for being here. So Shona knows firsthand that bias shows up in the workplace in lots of ways. And that's why she's on mission to help employers connect with the underrepresented job seekers to help professionals land their uh, job, their dream job. So that's why she created and the founder of HighDiverse.ca, a job board designed to highlight an employer's commitment to diversity and inclusion. She's an avid content creator exploring topics related to diversity and inclusion and career development. She has an audience of over 13,000 followers on LinkedIn and YouTube, and she's also, and her work uh, sorry, and she's a workplace communist with CBS Radio, and her work has been featured in the Canadian HR Reporter, CBC, Motherly, Very Good Foods, The Maritime Edit, and more. So, Shona, let's start with you. The first question is, so we are in 2024. What are some of the job search strategies that you are going to see? Is there anything changing? Is technology, AI changing, helping or not helping? What can you tell us? Yeah, so I mean, AI has definitely changed, uh, changed the job search yeah. in a lot of ways and can bring big advantages to well, really recruiters and and job seekers alike, right? Yeah. Um, so I, I think if you're if you're looking for work right now, and not leveraging AI, that's probably a mistake. Mm -hmm. um, I, I do think, though, sometimes we'll put kind of all of our faith or expectation in AI to a fault. Yeah. So it can be really, really useful to help you craft like some specific pieces of a resume, some specific emails and so on. Mm -hmm. But I wouldn't just leave it to AI. You know what I mean? Like get AI to help you like write first this. First exactly. Thing. Exactly. It's like get AI to do like that first go around to get things started, maybe create an outline. It can be really useful for that. But, um, but it's really important that you as the job seeker take the time to add your unique voice and yes. story to it. I don't know about you, but I can almost like you, when you're reading well, anything now for that, yeah. for that matter, like you can kind of you feel the AI in it. Yeah. If, if there isn't the personal touch. These words are like mm, not much like, you know, the words and the way it's good, but it's like very, I don't want to say sophisticated, but it's like very good rhythm. Yeah. Yeah. And, and it's, it's, it obviously lacks a certain amount of humanity. So like in, in terms of, in terms of trends, I think AI is a trend that job seekers should definitely mm -hmm. um, hop on and use this tool, use these tools to help you write your resume and cover letter and emails and all those yeah. things, but don't stop there and don't let it do the whole job for you. Cause it won't be as effective as you could be right. If you took what the, what the AI provided you and add it your own perspective and, and flavor to it. Like I use the AI all the time. It's yeah. it's awesome. It speeds up yeah. the if content creation process. speeds up the whole process, yeah. right? But I wouldn't take a piece of content and just put it out like exactly as AI gave it to me. Mm -hmm. Um, it it just doesn't resonate. It doesn't feel yes. as real, obviously, as as um, as you know something that adds a personal touch or a personal story or a personal perspective. I agree with you. Anything else this besides AI you think that we will see in 2024? Um, well, let's think. So I, I think AI, of, of course, will remain a big one. I don't know. I see like, do you notice too a lot of um, uh, a lot of career coaches really pushing towards like this um, like volume application process? Like the, the, there's there's uh, there's this really um, evident change on, on LinkedIn in particular, where I'm seeing career coaches pushing services where it's like a volume application. So uh, use my service and I can get out, you know, 200 resumes and applications uh, for, for your job search. Mm -hmm. And I feel like if people are like, oh, that's awesome. You know, I can get out all these resumes. Um, but I, I think it can be hugely useful in some circumstances. Yeah. But again, I would say kind of proceed with caution for any of these um, volume application processes mm -hmm. and services that you're seeing online. 
Um, particularly if you're looking for a role that's that's a more seasoned role or a leadership role, yeah. that's really not going to fly. Like anyone who's recruiting, particularly for for those most, more senior positions, are going to see right through that. And you're much better served by going old school and doing the networking and yes. building the relationships, right? Yeah. Rather than be like, I'm going to blast every everything out and see what happens. Could be effective if you were looking for a frontline position or maybe a highly competitive mm -hmm. first role or something along those lines. Yeah. Um, but the volume bulk application um, approach, I don't think is going to work yeah. in most cases. Most cases, yeah. Thank you for that. So for the audience watching or listening for the first time, I'm going to ask Sean a couple of questions and I'm going to post them on a daily basis, kind of a journey with us. You can like, share all the videos and tune in next time for another great question with Shona.